Good morning. Another beautiful day here. We had such beautiful pink colors this morning, but um, I just didn't catch it with video. Sorry about that. Next time. Lots of mornings ahead, I hope. <laughs> so what I forgot to show yesterday was, look, my beautiful shelves. These are the shelves that I got. And there's my beautiful new vacuum cleaner. I've already used it. <laughs> Bailey's going to check it out now. Um, I've already used it to clean this beautiful red carpet. It is so wonderful. And it works. It works fantastic. I'm super happy with it. Um, but overall, I'm super pleased with these shelves. It opens up a lot of opportunities. Um, so since I'm going to be moving into this room, I just realized I actually need to have some clothes in this room as well. I have got <clears throat> space for jackets, but... <clears throat> I think I also need some space for other clothes, so yeah, I'm probably going to put a couple of clothes in one of these shelves. Oh, and I just want to mention that this, not this, this vodka bottle, it's not for me to drink <laughs> neat or anything. <laughs> it's for the, uh, it's for the reishi, the reishi that I mixed. They are still extracting. Yeah. I've got about three bottles of them. I don't know if you remember. If you go back in the video history, I show you how I make the reishi extraction. So that's what the vodka is for. <laughs> this is one of the most impressive stands at the market that I've seen ever. Look at this. Isn't that colorful? It's so beautiful. And here's baklava. So beautiful. I'm actually not sure what the green is, but usually it's with walnuts. Oh, the one at the back over there, you can see the walnut pieces. And here, look. Candy, candy, candy land, candy land, candy land. And here comes fruits and nuts and raisins. I actually bought a couple of these peanuts. Here they are. I bought a kilogram for eight lev because you don't usually find peanuts without salt. You don't find nuts without salt generally in Bulgaria. So once you see them, it's best to get them because you don't see that too often. Um, these are actually without salt as well. So that's pretty nice, but um, it's a bit expensive. I'm back at the market. I can't resist the market. It's just wonderful. Um, every week there's something new. It's never 100% the same. Look at this. That is a very, very beautiful carpet. If I didn't have a million carpets, I would consider asking how much that is. But um, I've got way too many carpets. <laughs> and as you can see, it's winter. Lots of socks coming up. Um, and it's beautiful weather. It's a little bit crisp, but it's not cold. It's very, very comfortable, beautiful sunny weather. And everybody is still setting up a little bit. All of their stands coming together. I love the market. Um, unfortunately, all of the honeys are now 12 leva per jar. When I arrived here one year ago, it was eight leva. So yeah, I have a little bit of resistance to it rising four leva in one year. Mm -hmm but everything has become a little bit expensive. One of my favorite stands, but also unhealthy. It's fried um, gluten with sugar on it. I'm not getting that today, at least not now. Oh, here's some, here's some doves in there. Oh, hello doves. Cute. <laughs> hello. Um, and then otherwise we've got some clothes. Oh, these hats are really cute. Oh, they're really lovely. I'm a little bit tempted with these hats. Especially this one. Found some fish. This is the freshest fish you can find. And then they end up looking like that. I'm not entirely sure why they have a little uh, fountain on here. So maybe the fountain keeps the water 
aerated with some air coming in. The same over there in that little pond. Interesting. So fresh fish, fresh fish. There's a lot of this everywhere. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it comes with roots. I don't know if you can see that, but most of the stands sell them with roots. So I think this is a plant you put in the soup for extra flavor, but I don't know what it's called. If you know, let me know in the comments. Thank you. And I think this is winter salad, I'm guessing. I don't know. Some spring onions, parsley. Yeah, this is quite beautiful. Very good stand. And of course the green tomatoes, green tomatoes. I'm still not sure what to do with mine. I've got a couple and I'm not entirely sure how to, to prepare them. So I've just bought a canner. <laughs> of course I've bought a canner. But it's a fantastic one. It's got four stems in there. You can't see them all. Um, but it cost six leather, which is amazing. Oh, hi, Gabriel Santa. Merci. A lovely, lovely lady. She's uh, just told me my bag is not too strong. She wanted to give me another one, but it's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's got little plants going on here. Yeah, excellent. Ah, beautiful canna. Look at these little cuties. What beautiful colors. Hi, birdies. Oh, really stunning. Uh, look at this crazy tomato. It's just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not so <laughs> oh, they really are just grown completely natural yeah. in whatever form they show up. Pretty great. And just finished off the market. Market is over there. Love the market, Sunday market. And then to finish it off over here, 21 grams coffee shop. They make this really, really tall coffee if you ask for it. They make any coffee that you request really. So a custom coffee. And um, that is perfect ending to a perfect market. Just back from the market. I'm so happy with this canna. I can't believe it. Um, I mean, this is a really amazing plant. Look at those strong stems. Six lever, um, that's pretty amazing. So now I just need to figure out if I can put it in the ground to overwinter or if I should take it indoors. Not sure, but we'll see. Other little plants looking really happy. <laughs> I know, I didn't plant those little rosemaries that I thought I was gonna do, but one day, one day. The other plants still looking pretty good. Yeah, happy plants. So this, I think this might be a sweet type of melon. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it also looks quite ready to be picked. So I'm gonna find out. Oh, you're gonna find out, that's right. Okay. Smudgy's gonna find out if it's a sweet melon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a wonderful day. Ginkgo's looking happy. I haven't potted it up yet. That'll happen before winter though. And I'm reconsidering where this uh, juju berry is because I think it, if it gets too big, it might obscure the mountain view. So I think I need to move this guy actually before he starts taking root. Hey Smudgy. Hi, you gonna do that? You gonna help? Good job. And look at this. Strawberries are still going. There's just so many and they look absolutely beautiful. Look how many there are underneath here. So many. Wow. And they smell amazing. They smell so, so, so good. <laughs> really incredible. There's more there. Wow. Okay. I guess I'm going to get picking. Strawberry picking. <laughs> Look at this. It's a little baby butternut. Yay! And a Bailey. Hey, Bailey. I think she was sleeping behind us. <laughs> hey, Smash. Smash and Bailey. You guys getting along? Sort of. No, not getting along. 
smudgy is just a little bit of, I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, this butternut here, it starts over here, goes that way, starts there, and then comes this way, and little baby butternut. And over here I have some nettles. I love nettles. They are so useful. You can make tea with them. You can obviously have them as spinach. And um, you can also make fertilizer with them. Oh yeah, and here I've kind of forgotten about this little guy, but he's not getting any bigger. So I think I'm going to pick him and see if, if it's any good. This would be my first watermelon from the garden. It's very small. <laughs> That's about as big as my hand. But since he's not growing, I might as well check. <laughs> and then I also plan to get some marigold petals so that I can dry them and have them as tea. So I've got lots of petals here and there and there. So that should be pretty good. I could also get rose um, petals. Those are also good as a tea. Hmm. There's Smudgy enjoying the studio view. <laughs> I'm sat on my bed and this is a pretty good view actually. It's really nice. I can see the mountains there and the jujube berry is planted right over there. So I do think I need to move it because it'll grow up there and block the mountains. So I'll have to move the jujube berry. Whoopsie. These are all the things I bought at the market. Actually, I didn't get this one at the market. I got that at um, the George shop. Um, Got some bananas, apples, non-salted peanuts, yay! Some of the last peaches. Unfortunately, season is ending now. Got some grapes, some honey. Yeah, so it's been a really good day. Really nice. And I think I'm going to have to go and transplant the juju berry before I lose motivation. <laughs> Gotta get going on that. Well, this is a pretty decent situation. Cat on lap and beautiful view. This is nice. I think this is pretty nice. I'm really liking this carpet. It's growing on me, especially with the afternoon sunshine that's coming in. Lovely afternoon sunshine. And I'm liking these plants more and more. <laughs> it's so beautiful. They really liven up the room. Um, I bought this gourd today, butternut. I got some grapes today. There's some chestnuts in that bowl over there, that uh, blue white bowl. I got some chestnuts. And there's some peanuts in that bowl over there. Got the bananas and the um, peaches. So lots of fruits. I put all of the apples in that basket behind the bamboo. I can't wait for the persimmons. I got two persimmons. I can't wait for them to get ready, but they are still a little bit unripe unfortunately but yeah this room is really shaping up to be very very comfortable colorful lively with all the plants and warm with the amazing afternoon sunshine better than expected and obviously the cats don't hurt <laughs> who's a comfy cat yeah this is pretty good I think winter can come. <laughs> Very comfy. And I've opened both doors. <laughs> it's such a lovely day. I think it's definitely an outside day. So I'm going to go and take care of the jujuberry tree. I'm going to transplant it somewhere else so that I can keep that little mountain sliver. <laughs> and... Otherwise, I've actually brought some more plants in here. I've got this, I think it's called Devil's Ivy. I've got that one in here. And this one is a mother's tongue plant. And my little palm frondy frond. Don't know. It's a mini palm. So this is a nice green little corner now with the bamboo and all of these little plants. And of course, this little guy up there. So cute. <laughs> so it's going to be like a little greenhouse in here, I guess. 
this is going to be a nice little sun trap in the afternoon. Because winters here are actually very, very sunny. Surprisingly sunny. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this area here is going to be very popular with the cats. Oh, lovely green corner. So happy with this.